Before we delve into the depths of the 3 a.m. miracle prayer, kindly press that subscribe button below and join our growing community of faith. There is a hushed reverence that wraps the world in the early morning hours, a time when the stars in the sky are still visible and the hustle and bustle of life has yet to awaken. These hours are often considered sacred, a period of profound tranquility and connection to the divine. Many religions around the globe recognize the spiritual potency of these early hours, and in the Christian faith this time holds a special significance. In the Bible, we find numerous instances where the early morning was chosen for prayer and communication with God. Jesus Christ himself often rose early to commune with his Father. In the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 35, we read, And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and there prayed. This verse illuminates the significance of the early hours in Jesus' spiritual routine, underscoring the power of pre-dawn prayer. Early morning prayer is not a concept exclusive to Christianity. It's a thread that weaves through many religions and spiritual practices, from Islam's pre-dawn prayer, Fajr, to Buddhism's emphasis on early morning meditation. This universal recognition of the early hours as a time for spiritual connection speaks volumes about its power. But why is there such emphasis on these early hours? What makes them so powerful? It's a combination of factors. The quiet and solitude offer a perfect environment for introspection and prayer. The transition from night to day signifies new beginnings, hope and renewal. It's a time when distractions are minimal, allowing for a deeper, more focused connection with God. As we delve deeper into this topic, we'll explore the spiritual significance of the 3 a.m. hour, a time often referred to as the witching hour. But in the context of our discussion, it's a time of divine power, a time when heaven is said to draw closer to earth. Now let's journey together into the mystery of the 3 a.m. miracle prayer. You might be wondering, why should I wake up so early? Well, apart from the spiritual benefits we've discussed, rising before dawn offers numerous physical and mental health benefits. Science has shown that early risers often have healthier eating habits. They tend to eat breakfast, which kickstarts the metabolism and prevents overeating later in the day. Furthermore, waking up early aligns our internal clock with the natural cycle of day and night, leading to better quality sleep and overall improved health. Early hours are also excellent for mental health. The serenity of the morning provides a peaceful time for meditation, prayer or simply quiet reflection. This can significantly reduce stress levels, increase mindfulness and lead to a more positive outlook on life. Plus, did you know that waking up early can improve productivity and focus? Yes, that's right. The early morning hours are free from distractions and interruptions, making it the perfect time to plan your day, set goals or work on important tasks. Many successful people are known for waking up early. Apple CEO Tim Cook wakes up at 3.45 a.m. to start his day, and former First Lady Michelle Obama is known to wake up as early as 4.30 a.m. to fit in a workout. It's no coincidence that many high achievers are early risers. They understand that the early hours offer a head start on the day, providing extra time to focus on personal growth, family or work. So as you can see, waking up early can have a huge impact on your life. It's not just about the 3 a.m. miracle prayer. It's about harnessing the power of the early hours to transform your life physically, mentally and spiritually. So, are you ready to join the ranks of early risers and experience these benefits for yourself? The 3 a.m. miracle prayer, also known as the witching hour, holds a unique place in Christian spirituality. This special hour, steeped in mystery and spiritual significance, has intrigued and inspired the faithful for centuries. Let's travel back in time to the early days of Christianity. The practice of praying at specific times of the day, known as the Liturgy of the Hours, was established by the early Christian Church. This was inspired by Jewish traditions and also mentioned in the Psalms. It was during these early days that the significance of the third hour after midnight, or 3 a.m., began to emerge. While the Bible does not specifically mention the 3 a.m. miracle prayer, there are several references to the fourth watch of the night, which is between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. 
This was the last of the four Roman watches of the night and was believed to be a time when divine intervention was most likely to occur. Over time, the 3 a.m. hour became associated with heightened spiritual activity. Many Christian mystics and saints, such as St. Paul the Hermit and St. Francis of Assisi, were known to rise at this hour to pray and commune with God. Their experiences and teachings added further depth and richness to the spiritual significance of this time. The tradition of the 3 a.m. miracle prayer was further solidified during the Middle Ages. The monastic communities, who followed a strict regimen of prayer, work and contemplation, also observed the night office or vigils. This was a period of prayer and meditation that began in the middle of the night and ended with the dawn. It was during this time that the monks would recite the psalms, read scriptures and engage in contemplative prayer. This practice was believed to bring them closer to God and deepen their spiritual understanding. In more recent times, the 3 a.m. miracle prayer has found resonance with Christians across the globe. Many believe that this is a time when the veil between the physical and spiritual realms is at its thinnest, allowing for a deeper and more profound connection with the divine. This belief is further reinforced by various biblical accounts of significant events such as the resurrection of Jesus occurring during the early hours of the morning. The 3 a.m. miracle prayer, though ancient, continues to evolve. Today it is not just about waking up at 3 a.m. to pray, it is about cultivating a habit of prayer, meditation and contemplation that transcends time and space. It is about seeking a deeper relationship with God, finding inner peace and discovering one's true purpose in life. In the hustle and bustle of our modern lives, this ancient practice offers a much needed respite. It invites us to pause, reflect and reconnect with our spiritual roots. It encourages us to seek solace in the silence of the early hours and experience the profound peace and clarity that comes with it. The 3 a.m. miracle prayer, deeply rooted in Christian history, continues to influence many lives today. Its timeless wisdom and spiritual significance continue to inspire and guide those who seek a deeper connection with the divine. And so, the story of the 3 a.m. miracle prayer continues as each of us adds our own chapter to its rich and evolving history. Having explored the historical and spiritual significance of the 3 a.m. miracle prayer, let's delve into the fascinating science behind this practice. Our bodies operate on a circadian rhythm, an internal clock that regulates our sleep-wake cycle. This rhythm is influenced by external cues like sunlight and temperature, and it's designed to promote restful sleep at night and alert wakefulness during the day. Around 3 a.m., most of us are in the deepest phase of sleep, known as REM or rapid eye movement sleep. This phase is associated with vivid dreaming, and some theories suggest that it's during this deep sleep stage that our minds might be more open to spiritual experiences. Moreover, the quietness of the 3 a.m. hour, when the world is largely asleep, can offer a unique psychological environment conducive to introspection and spiritual connection. This is because distractions are minimal, allowing for deep, focused prayer and meditation. Research has shown that prayer and meditation have profound effects on our brains. They can reduce stress, promote feelings of peace and well-being, and even change the structure of our brains over time. These activities engage the prefrontal cortex, the part of our brain responsible for focus and attention, and quiet the amygdala, which is involved in our response to fear and stress. This can lead to a greater sense of calm and clarity, which can further enhance our spiritual experiences. So while the 3 a.m. miracle prayer is rooted in religious tradition, it's also supported by modern science. Understanding the science behind this practice can deepen our appreciation for it and reinforce the value of waking up early for prayer and meditation. As we continue to explore the mystery and power of the 3 a.m. hour, we can see that it's not just about tradition or belief, but also about the intricate interplay between our bodies, our minds, and our spiritual experiences. One might wonder, why 3 a.m.? This is a question that has echoed through centuries, and we're here to unravel the mystery. In Christian spirituality, the early dawn hours, specifically the third hour after midnight, is often referred to as the witching hour. Now, don't let the term alarm you. It's not about witches or anything spooky. The term is used to highlight a time when the spiritual world is believed to be most active. 
The Bible, in many instances, stresses the importance of the early hours of the day. In the book of Mark, for example, we find Jesus rising early before dawn to go to a solitary place to pray. This underlines the significance of early hours for deep, undisturbed communion with God. But why specifically 3 a.m.? Well, the choice of this hour has deep roots in Christian belief. Many Christians believe that Jesus was crucified at 3 p.m., and so 3 a.m. being the exact opposite is a time when the forces of both good and evil are heightened. It's a time when the spiritual realm is more accessible and prayers are more potent. Moreover, the early hours of the morning are when distractions are at a minimum. The world is asleep, the hustle and bustle of life is paused, and in this quiet, one can truly focus on their connection with God. It's a time to introspect, to pray, to meditate, and to listen to what God is saying. In the stillness of the 3 a.m. hour, one can find the serenity to truly delve into their spirituality. It's a time to lay bare your heart before God, to seek his guidance, to pray for strength, and to thank him for his blessings. So why 3 a.m.? It's a time steeped in biblical significance, a time when the spiritual realm is believed to be more accessible, a time for undisturbed communion with God. It's a time to pray, to listen, to connect, and to transform. It's clear the 3 a.m. hour holds a special spiritual significance. Waking up at 3 a.m. is not without its challenges. It's a time when most people are deep in slumber, enjoying the comfort of their beds. The thought of leaving that comfort to pray can seem daunting. One might struggle with falling asleep early enough to wake up at 3 a.m. or deal with feelings of grogginess upon waking or find it difficult maintaining consistency. However, these challenges are not insurmountable. With a few practical strategies, you can overcome these hurdles and make the 3 a.m. miracle prayer a part of your daily routine. Firstly, let's address the challenge of falling asleep early. It's crucial to adjust your bedtime to ensure you get enough sleep. Start by gradually moving your bedtime earlier in 15-minute increments. Limit exposure to screens before bed, as the blue light can interfere with your sleep cycle. Create a relaxing bedtime routine to signal to your body that it's time to sleep. This could include reading a book, listening to soft music, or practicing some light yoga. Next, dealing with grogginess. It's natural to feel groggy when you wake up, especially if you're breaking your usual sleep cycle. One way to combat this is to immediately get out of bed and do some light stretching. Drinking a glass of water can also help wake your body up. If possible, step outside and take in the fresh air. The natural environment can do wonders in waking you up and setting a serene mood for your prayer time. Finally, maintaining consistency. It's easy to be enthusiastic about waking up at 3 a.m. for the first few days, but consistency is key. Remind yourself of the benefits and the spiritual significance of the 3 a.m. miracle prayer. Use an alarm clock and keep it across the room so you have to get out of bed to turn it off. You can also find a prayer partner. Having someone to share the journey with can provide motivation and accountability. Remember, it's okay to have some off days. Don't be too hard on yourself if you miss a day or two. The aim is to create a sustainable practice, not a perfect one. With patience and perseverance, you can overcome the challenges of waking up at 3 a.m. It might take some time to adjust, but the spiritual rewards are well worth the effort. So embrace the journey and look forward to the transformation that awaits you. The 3 a.m. miracle prayer is more than just an early morning ritual. It's a spiritual exercise that opens up a wellspring of divine power, transforming lives in profound ways. When we delve into the power of the 3 a.m. miracle prayer, we're exploring a spiritual practice that has left imprints of miracles, breakthroughs, and transformations in the lives of countless individuals. It's not about the time on the clock, but the divine appointment that this hour represents. Let's take a journey through some testimonies that showcase the transformative power of the 3 a.m. miracle prayer. Picture a woman named Sarah. She was going through a deep valley of despair grappling with a failing marriage and an unfulfilled life. Sarah began waking up at three in the morning, surrendering her heartaches and hopes to God. As weeks turned into months, she began to experience an inner peace she had never known. Her marriage started healing and she found a renewed sense of purpose. The 3 a.m. miracle prayer transformed her life from despair to hope, from brokenness to healing. Consider another story, that of a man named John. 
He was battling a chronic illness, with medical treatments failing to bring any relief. John decided to dedicate the 3 a.m. hour to prayer, beseeching God for healing. He prayed relentlessly day after day, his faith unwavering. One morning he woke up feeling different. His symptoms had disappeared, and subsequent medical tests confirmed his healing. John's story is a testament to the miraculous power of the 3 a.m. miracle prayer. It's not just about personal miracles, though. The 3 a.m. miracle prayer also transforms communities, bringing about unity, understanding and love. Think about a community torn apart by strife and misunderstanding. The local church decided to hold a 3 a.m. prayer vigil, inviting everyone to unite in prayer for peace. Over time, the discord began to fade as mutual understanding and respect replaced animosity. The community was transformed, not by human efforts, but by the power of prayer at this divine hour. The 3 a.m. miracle prayer is also about spiritual growth. It's a time to deepen your relationship with God, to seek his wisdom and guidance, and to align your will with his. It's a time of quiet solitude where you can hear God's voice more clearly away from the noise and distractions of the day. Many have found that their spiritual life has deepened and grown richer through the practice of the 3 a.m. miracle prayer. These stories are but glimpses into the transformative power of the 3 a.m. miracle prayer. They serve as an invitation to you to explore this divine practice. Whether you're seeking personal transformation, healing or spiritual growth, the 3 a.m. miracle prayer holds the key. Indeed, the 3 a.m. miracle prayer can be a powerful tool for spiritual growth and transformation. It's more than a ritual, it's an encounter with the divine, a sacred meeting point between the human heart and the heart of God. And in this encounter, miracles truly do happen. Early morning prayers are not unique to Christianity. In fact, they are a common practice in many religions, symbolizing a universal spiritual connection that transcends cultural and religious boundaries. Let's take a moment to explore how early morning prayers are practiced in different cultures and religions. In Islam, for instance, the first of the five daily prayers known as Fajr is performed before sunrise. This prayer, considered the most vital, sets the tone for the day, inviting Muslims to begin their day with a mindful connection to the divine. Similarly, in Hinduism, the Brahma Muhurta, which occurs approximately two hours before sunrise, is considered an auspicious time for meditation and prayer. Hindus believe that the spiritual activities performed during this time yield great benefits and lead to success in life. Buddhism also has its own early morning practices. In Zen Buddhism, for instance, monks wake up before dawn to meditate. They believe that the quiet and peaceful atmosphere of the early morning enhances mindfulness and concentration. Despite the differences in religious practices, there are common themes that resonate across these faiths. The early morning, with its tranquility and lack of distractions, is viewed as an ideal time for spiritual pursuits. It's a time to connect with a higher power, to seek guidance for the day ahead, and to cultivate inner peace. We can all learn from these diverse practices. Whether it's the discipline of the Muslim's Fajr prayer, the spiritual focus of the Hindu's Brahma Muhurta, or the mindful meditation of the Buddhist monk, these practices teach us the value of starting our day with a spiritual focus. Regardless of our faith tradition, we can all benefit from the practice of early morning prayers. They offer us a moment of calm before the hustle and bustle of the day, a time to center ourselves and an opportunity to connect with something greater. So, whether it's 3 a.m. or just before sunrise, consider setting aside some time each morning for prayer or meditation. You might be surprised by the profound impact it can have on your day. Praying at 3 a.m. might seem challenging, but it can be more feasible than you think. The secret lies in creating a routine that works for you, taking into account your unique lifestyle, commitments, and energy levels. Let's explore some practical ways to incorporate this transformative prayer into your daily life. Firstly, consider going to bed earlier. This might require adjusting your evening activities, but the benefits you'll reap from the 3 a.m. miracle prayer are well worth it. Ensure your environment is conducive to restful sleep. A dark, quiet room can do wonders. Next, set an alarm. 
This might seem obvious, but the type of alarm matters. Choose a sound that is gentle yet effective to avoid jolting awake. Upon waking, resist the urge to hit the snooze button. Instead, sit up immediately and take a few deep breaths to awaken your senses. Now, let's address the actual prayer. There are no hard and fast rules. The 3 a.m. miracle prayer is about connecting with God in these quiet hours. So let your heart guide your words. You can read from the Bible or simply express your thoughts and feelings. The key is sincerity and openness. Maintaining consistency can be a challenge, but don't be disheartened by setbacks. If you miss a day, simply pick up where you left off. Remember, the aim is not perfection, but growth. It's about nurturing a deeper relationship with God, not ticking off a checklist. To help with consistency, you might find it helpful to keep a prayer journal. Noting down your prayers and reflections can provide a tangible record of your spiritual journey and motivate you to continue. Finally, be patient with yourself. Adjusting to a new routine takes time. Celebrate your small victories and remember that every step forward, no matter how small, is progress. With determination and faith, anyone can experience the power of the 3 a.m. miracle prayer. Uh, we've journeyed through the history, significance and practical application of the 3 a.m. miracle prayer. We've taken steps back in time, exploring its roots in biblical tradition and its importance in the spiritual practices of countless believers before us. We've delved into the mystery of the early hours, that sacred window at three in the morning when the world is quiet and our hearts are open to the divine. We've discovered why this particular hour holds such potent power, a time when heaven is said to be closer, our prayers stronger, a time when the veil between the physical and spiritual world is at its thinnest, allowing us to connect more deeply with our faith and our creator. We've also examined the remarkable potential of the 3 a.m. miracle prayer, a tool for personal transformation. We've seen how it can provide clarity, instill peace and foster a sense of purpose. We've learned how it can strengthen our faith, deepen our connection to the divine and even transform our lives. The beauty of the 3 a.m. miracle prayer lies in its simplicity and accessibility. It doesn't require grand gestures or elaborate rituals. All it asks for is an open heart, a willing spirit and a desire to seek the divine in the quiet hours before dawn. So, as we conclude our journey today, I encourage you to embrace the practice of the 3 a.m. miracle prayer. Try it for yourself. Experience the peace, the clarity, the transformation it can bring. Explore the potential of those early hours, that sacred time when the world is still and your heart is open. Before we part, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our community. Together, we can grow in faith and experience the power of the 3 a.m. miracle prayer.